टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द इंडियन पॉलिटी एंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट इन द प्रिपरेशन फॉर द सिविल सर्विसेज एग्जाम वेन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद दिस सब्जेक्ट वी आई कैन नॉट स्टार्ट दिस सब्जेक्ट डायरेक्टली विद द टॉपिक्स लाइक वट इज प्रियम्बल और वट इज पार्लियामेंट्री सिस्टम और फर्स्टली वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द वट आर द बेसिक टेनेट्स ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट हमें कोई भी सब्जेक्ट शुरू करने से पहले उसके बेसिक्स के बारे में नॉलेज होना बहुत ज्यादा जरूरी होता है सो दैट्स वाई आई हैव ब्रॉड दिस काइंड ऑफ टॉपिक फॉर यू कॉल्ड एज द इवोल्यूशन ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया कि कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बना कैसे वट इज द ओरिजन वाई देर इज अ नीड ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑल दिस टॉपिक्स आर रिक्वायर्ड बिफोर स्टडिंग अबाउट एनी काइंड ऑफ सब्जेक्ट I'm not talking about only about the Indian polity or constitution. I'm also talking about the subject of geography. I'm also talking about the subject of history. That whatever subject you are studying into the civil services examination, each and every subject is having some kind of relevance. Okay, what is the relevance of the subject? It means that subject is having some relation. with the duties to be performed by the office holder i am repeating that again that that particular subject is having some relation with the duties to be performed by the office holder so based upon that we need to understand that what are the basic tenets of a subject so that's why we are studying about the indian polity and the constitution like uh, for example uh, we consider about the subject like the Uh, we're not starting with the indian polity take a example of the geography why you are studying about the subject of the geography in the civil services that being a district magistrate or being a officer in your district you need to know about that what is the geomorphological character of your area okay you need to understand about that what is the monsoon in your area so when you will understand all this kind of thing when you will be having the basic understanding then only you can perform as a district magistrate so that's why we are having a proper kind of understanding of each and every subject and each and every subject in the civil services examination is having some kind of relevance that's why the upsc has introduced that particular subject into your syllabus for example we take the example of the subject of history similarly into the history when we are understanding about the subject of history so history ka bhi yahi relevance hai that we need to understand about the past okay so that we can we can forecast a good future and we can, we are able to understand about the present so that's why that's why it is being said that past is the permanent dimension of the human consciousness this is being said na so this is very much important in nature that whatever subject we are studying any kind of subject we are studying we should firstly understand what is that subject is about what are the basic of that subject what is the background of that subject and after that we should start preparing for that particular subject and it will be very much easier for you to understand the indian polity or constitution whether you are a, with the background of uh, uh, this law or whether student is of non law background everyone will be able to understand about that what is the indian polity or the constitution we will be starting from the very basic of from the very zero we will be starting the subject i will not be taking the subject to some other level dheere dheere hum subject mein progress karenge dheere dheere hum subject ka elevation badhayenge uska level bhi increase karenge but pehle hame is subject ke basics ko janna hoga okay to basics ko janne ke liye hame kuch topics ke bare mein samajh aani chahiye pehle aur usi ke baad hum basics ko bhi acche tarike se prepare kar sakte hain aur aage ka subject bhi hum shuru kar sakte hain so let's just understand about this the topic that i have brought for you today is the evolution of the constitution firstly you need to understand about one thing that indian polity or constitution is the part of which gs this is the part of gs2 general studies 2 okay general studies 2 is accompanied by several subjects indian polity and constitution governance social issues or social justice and international relations almost four se five subject milke aapka gs2 banate hain and the most important subject in this is the that is the indian polity and constitution when i am discussing about the indian polity and constitution why it is important because it involves the entire bureaucratic political constitutional system of india okay iske andar aap almost har cheez pad lete hain jo bhi aapke news channels par aati hain for example you study about the issue of the sabri malla or the re, any recent judgment by the supreme court 
all the topics are included into the subject of the indian polity and why this subject is important and why this subject is having so much of the dynamism because this subject is completely based on the contemporary part contemporary means current affairs okay so iska jo complete character hai is subject ka wo contemporary based hai ki we need to understand about that what is the recent supreme court judgment okay these are the very basic these are the static topics when i'm discussing about this ye bhi zaruri hai hamare padhne ke liye but hum jo last mein hamara focus kiske upar rahega that is on the current affairs of the indian polity or constitution last mein to hame usi par jana hai aur exam ka pillar bhi wahi hai hamara exam bhi last mein wahi humse puchega that what is the recent supreme court judgment on the jalli kattu or the recent supreme court judgment on the padmanabh swami temple inhi sab cheezon ko puchega upsc current affairs ke upar hi focus karega but current affairs ko samajhne ke liye hamara basics jo fundamentals hain wo hamare bahut zyada strong hone chahiye that's why we are considering about from the very basics okay so when we are understanding about the subject of the indian polity and constitution you need to understand about few things that you cannot criticize the judiciary okay you cannot say that uh, the uh, judiciary has given such kind of judgment you can present you can uh, put your view point on the judgment of the judiciary but you cannot criticize the indian judiciary okay it is called as a contempt of the court okay court ki avail na karna ya fir court ko criticize karna judiciary is apex when we are tired of the executive and legislature nor the executive nor the legislature is listening to me what is the ultimate option available to me that is the supreme court or the high court or the district court i will go to the court that i am having such kind of grievance and please address my grievance as early as possible this is the paradigm into this so when we are understanding about this to pura jo subject hai hamara fundamentally it is being created on the basis of contemporary and you must you have to create a good kind of current affairs for developing a ecolon into this kind of subject aapko current affairs like current affairs based kon kon se subject hai isko 2 minute samajh lete hain indian polity then the international relation internal security okay economics completely ye kuch subjects aapke civil services mein aise hain jo completely current affairs based hai i am not saying ki inke uh, as a subjects mein se Uh, the upsc will never ask the question on the static static pe bhi question pucha ja sakta hai but more of these subjects are contemporary based ha jaise static mein kya hai static subjects kaun se hain geography okay history i am not saying ki geography ya fir history mein se kabhi contemporary nahi ban sakta contemporary could be created out of the geography as well as the history as well but when we are understanding about ki geography aur history mein se zyada aapka static hi aayega for example any new harappan site is being excavated okay so this could be the part of the history ye history mein wo aapko pooch sakta hai current affair mein but kitne question puchega maximum one or two for example geography mein ek aadha question aapka aa sakta hai for example in any area landslide is there or into any area avalanche is there any kind of uh, natural disaster is there that is also the part of the disaster management so these questions could be asked by the upsc into the contemporary but ye zyada tar aapka jo subject banenge like the geography or the history or the ethics ye zyada tar most of the time aapka static pe hi focus rehta hai contemporary iske upar thoda zyada thoda kam rehta hai comparatively aur wahi pe aapko yaad rakhna that is the subject like the indian polity and constitution or you consider about the subject like the economics internal security international relation highly full of dynamism completely contemporary current affairs ke upar hi chalte hain aise subjects so when we are understanding about the what is this current affair is about what what is current affair into the indian polity current affair means the any kind of ongoing part any kind of topic which is being highlighted into the news recently for example uh, you take the example let's take a example into this like the uh, maharashtra government or the uddhav government into the maharashtra uh, have rejected the proposal of cbi to investigate the cases into the maharashtra now to understand about this kind of topic you need to understand what is cbi okay and why and how the maharashtra government has rejected that cbi cannot probe the case into the maharashtra okay ye aapko samajhna hoga pehle cbi apni power kahan se leta hai the second thing the cbi is a federal agency it's a central government agency okay cbi is not being created at the state level wo central government ki agency hai aur wo state mein jaake 
अलग अलग टाइप के केसेस को इन्वेस्टिगेट करती है एंड डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द सर्कमस्टांस इफ देर इज एनी काइंड ऑफ केस फॉर एग्जाम्पल द केसेज ऑफ द करेक्टर लाइक यू कैन कंसिडर अबाउट द केस ऑफ द आरुषि मर्डर केस और द सुशांत राजपूत केस ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ केसेज आर बींग investigated by the cbi from time to time and based upon this the current affair will be created of this topic and that current affair will be asked by the upsc into your examination into the subject of the indian polity or constitution but i am not saying that indian polity and constitution is only based on current affairs take a example for example into the prelims okay i am going to discuss about the three performance into the prelims static topic will be asked na? into the prelims static questions will be asked from the this indian polity and constitution but when i am talking about the mains written the second stage of your examination during that time period the upsc will ask the questions based on the current affairs okay and when i am discussing about the interview interview mein recently for example koi recent supreme court ki judgment aayi ho to uske upar wo interview mein aapse question pooch sakta hai ki that uh, what is your view point on the this and this judgment of the supreme court to what level do you consider that Uh, this judgment of the supreme court is right into this kind of direction all these things for example recently let's take the example for 2 minutes uh, recently uh, most of the states into the india like the haryana is saying madhya pradesh is saying other than himachal pradesh is saying that they are going to draft the law on love jihad okay or the forceful marriages or the convertible marriages conversions okay तो ये कुछ स्टेट्स हैं जो कह रही हैं कि हम लव जिहाद के ऊपर कानून बनाने वाले हैं या फिर कुछ ऐसे केसेस आ रहे हैं जिसके कारण ये स्टेट्स ऐसा कुछ कानून बनाने जा रही हैं ओके तो इसी के बेस के ऊपर लाइक रिसेंटली कर्नाटका हाई कोर्ट हैज गिव अ जजमेंट दैट द एवरी पर्सन इज हैविंग द राइट टू चूज देयर लाइफ पार्टनर दिस इज बींग हेल्ड बाय द हाई कोर्ट तो हर एक इंसान को अधिकार है अपना लाइफ पार्टनर चूज करने का और इन रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द कास्ट क्रीड रिलीजन उनके ऊपर बिल्कुल आपको अधिकार है कि आप बट हाँ थोड़ा जो अभी इशू चले हैं इसके ऊपर वो आपका व्यू पॉइंट जनरेट कर सकता है इनटू द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ इंडियन पॉलिटी एंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड स्पेशली इन द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द सोशल इशूज और सोशल जस्टिस बिकॉज दिस टॉपिक इज इज ऑल्सो ऑफ द डायनेमिज्म ऑफ द सोशल इशूज तो ऐसे टॉपिक आपको जनरली पूछ सकता है एग्जामिनेशन के अंदर everyone is clear with this not so let's understand about this uh, subject of the indian polity and constitution i have just given a, a kind of brief introduction to you about about this subject